portis and lenis consonants consonants are further divided on the basis of the articulatory force required for the production of consonants into two uh, terminologies into two groups uh, called portis and lenis portis are the consonants which are produced while using more articulatory energy more articulatory force on the other hand lenis are the consonants which are produced while using less effort while using little amount of energy for the production of the consonants so these are two uh, you know divisions which are really important um we have been using two more terms like strong consonants and weak consonants right so those were you know uh, more general terms used for the same process right so strong consonants are basically the fortis consonants and weak consonants were the weak consonants the the lenis consonants right so these two terms are like uh, interchangeable fortis and lenis more technical more uh, phonetic in origin but when they are simplified when they are used in more general sense then we can use strong and weak consonants um that's the amount of energy which is making the difference the amount of energy because uh, two types of consonants are there the one type is when we are putting less energy we can uh, produce those with very little amount of effort right uh, the articulatory movement okay then on the other hand there are consonants which need um, more you know strong force right more articulatory effort those are called strong so the point is that this the amount of energy and it is basically the phonetic uh, you know classification we are dividing these consonants on the basis of the uh, phonetic uh, classification and that phonetic classification is taken from the manners of articulation right so our focus is basically on the manners like in which manner those uh, consonants are uh, produced and then on the basis of that classification of the manners of articulation we divide uh, consonants into uh, fortis and lenis consonants fortis consonants are the consonants which are produced with a stronger degree of muscular effort and breath force right so there is more force more energy involved and then uh, the voiceless stops and fricatives the voiceless like uh, p t and k these three stops they are supposed to be taking more energy more articulatory effort than those uh, voiced uh, consonant stops like uh, b d and g you can try to just uh, you know uh, imagine the difference that how this difference is made if you try to uh, pronounce them in isolation right uh, just focusing on the articulatory effort that how much muscular effort is uh, more in energy in this uh, fortis category of consonants and then also how much little energy is used in the uh, lenis category of consonants right so p t k and compare it with b d g so you would be you know very easily understanding the difference that these are two categories on the basis of the articulatory effort which are uh, there which are found there okay uh, the degree of articulatory strength is a contrast the basically the contrast is made within these two consonants on the basis of articulatory strength that how much stronger is the articulatory effort so if it is stronger then the consonants are fortis and if uh, there is little articulatory strength involved then the consonants are supposed to be weak or lenis consonants okay um the lenis consonants are the voiced consonants okay um which take relatively weak degree of uh, articulatory effort and voice stops like b d g and then voiced uh, fricatives like uh, w t z sh right these are the lenis consonants weak consonants okay um then there are two processes which are also important uh, these processes are attached to uh, fortis and lenis consonants a uh, fortition is a process when a consonant which is uh, by default a weak consonant but within a specific uh, you know uh, context that consonant is made the stronger one right in comparison with the weaker uh, variety right so uh, the example is that when you are uh, shifting or changing a fricative with a stop 
because fricative takes little amount of articulatory movement, little amount of energy. When you are replacing that fricative with stop, so this process would be called quotation. And remember that within detailed phonological analysis, we are required to do this and to learn this, right? Um, then the approximants can also be uh, shifted or changed into a fricative within a specific context. So approximants, since they uh, take uh, little uh, energy, the weaker energy in comparison with fricatives. So if the approximants are made fricatives, then that is also the type of uh, fortition. And similarly, if a voiced vowel is, uh, you know, uh, transformed into the, uh, uh, you know, this uh, uh, vowel, uh, which is, uh, you know, the voiceless one. So that is also the fortition process. Uh, on the other hand, and in comparison with this, a lenition is a process when a strong consonant is made weaker. The strong consonant is uh, made weaker. Like when you just reverse the process of uh, making, uh, you know, a fricative into consonant and you just reverse it, you are making a stop consonant a fricative. So that would be lenition. So the processes which are involved behind making a fortis alenis is for, uh, you know, lenition. And when it is making a lenis a uh, fortis, then that is fortition. And these processes are really important for phonological analysis of languages and sounds.